Today, the House Oversight and Government Reform Committee had a much needed hearing about a topic that's just been overlooked by the Republicans, the IRS scandal. Oh, we're back on this. Okay, now last year there was a report that came out that said the IRS also targeted progressive groups. That's it, there's no scandal. They targeted conservative groups and progressive groups. In other words, both of them. There was no political um, cause there at all, and there's no connection to the White House, and uh, after the extra scrutiny, the only group they went after was actually a liberal group, not a conservative group. Okay. And by the way, the guy who spearheaded that was a conservative. Okay. So what is Daryl Issa going to do? Uh, oh, we've got to talk about this a little bit more. Now, last time he brought in Lois Lerner, who's a former IRS uh, official, and she taken the fifth. Because everybody's in a panic. Oh my God, oh my God, everybody's going to come for me. Oh no. And remember, Obama preemptively fired the, the guy uh, who was at the IRS who actually had nothing to do with it. It was before his regime. It doesn't matter. you got to fire somebody. Fox News is complaining. Fire, fire, fire. Okay, so this, she's taking the fifth. And Issa had been promising Fox News, I'm going to get her back on there and I'm going to grill her. And this time, she can't take the fifth. So what happened? She took the fifth. <laughs> of course she can take the fifth. She's an American. <laughs> so then Issa gets pissed and he'd like to cancel the hearings. Here's what happens next. I can see no point in going further. I have no expectation that Ms. Lerner will cooperate with this committee, and Chairman, therefore we stand. Chairman, 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 I have a statement. I have a procedural question, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, I have a procedural question. Mr. Chairman, you cannot run a committee like this. You just cannot do this. This is, we're better than that as a country. We're better than that as a committee. I have asked for a few minutes to ask. He cut his mic. That's what happened. He cut his mic. But listen, because Cummings is going to shout over. What are we hiding? What's the big deal? May I ask my question? May you, I state my statement? You're, you're all free to leave. We've adjourned, but the gentleman may ask his question. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Mr. Chairman, I have one procedural question, and it goes to trying to help you get the information, by the way, that you just asked. What is your question? Let, I'm, I'm going, no, let me say what I have to say. I've listened to you for the last 15 or 20 minutes. Let me say what I have to say. Mr. Chairman, I have one procedural Ms. question. Ms. Lerner, you're, you're, you're released. You may. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so he, Cummings is right. He's the ranking Democrat on that committee, right? I said gone on for about 15 minutes asking these nonsense questions, and she responded each time I take the Fifth Amendment, right? And he's like, oh, golly gee, I wish I'd read up on the Constitution before the hearing. And he keeps asking, and she keeps saying that, and he's frustrated. So Cummings is like, hey, can anyone else ask a question? Cut your mic. You're adjourned. You're gone. Learner, get out of the room. Okay, but it's about to get funnier. Because Isa wants to leave, but he can only cut Cummings' mic if he holds a button down. <laughs> this is awesome. Watch. But first, I would like to use my time to make some brief points. For the past year, the central Republican accusation in this investigation. We're adjourned. Been Close it down. Collusion directed by or on behalf of the White House. Before our. Thank you. This was a targeting of the president's political enemies effectively and lies about it during the election year in the fall. He continued this theme on Sunday, but I, if you will sit down and allow me to ask the question, I am a member of the Congress of the United States of America. I am tired of this. Well, we have we have members over here, each who you represent seven hundred thousand people. You cannot just have a one-sided investigation. There is absolutely something wrong with that, and it is absolutely un-American. Here, here. I do have a question. I gave you a question. Chairman, what are you hiding? He's taking the fifth, Elijah. <laughs> <laughs>
My favorite moment was like, I'm out of here. Wait, wait, wait. I got to stay. Hold on. Well, 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 hold on. Oh, God damn it. All right, here, I'm going to sit back down. <laughs> it's hard work uh, cutting off other people's speech, you know. And if you could uh, hear uh, Representative Cummings there, he's saying, look, combined the Democrats here represent 700,000 people. We'd like an opportunity to speak. And then at the end, ISIS says, we had a hearing. What kind of hearing was that when you were the only guy to talk? And then you cut everybody else's mic. That's the uh, Republicans' idea of a hearing, I guess. And by the way, Cummings, if he had had an opportunity, was going to talk about how he'd obtained, they had already obtained hundreds of thousands of documents from the IRS, interviewed dozens of people, and already come to the conclusion that there was no attack on conservatives in particular. But of course, that's why he cut his mic, because ISA doesn't want that to get out. Okay, so now he's going to go on television, ISA is, and he's going to do a press conference, etc., and he's going to tell all of us about how right he is. There were, there were no, she was, he was not directing questions toward the witness, and the committee had already adjourned. But why did you adjourn returning to your colleague and asking him? If they Pursuant to the committee, we were, we recessed only to determine whether or not she, we could get her to give testimony. <clears throat> and in fact, I did recognize him when he said he had a question. He went into an opening statement. Opening statements had already been completed. Why would you say she? because he was talking into a mic in an adjourned meeting. The fact is, Mr. Cummings came to make a point uh, of his objections to the process we've been going through. He was, he was actually slandering me at the moment that, uh, uh, that the mics did go off by claiming that this had not been a real investigation. But just because Mr. <coughs> Cummings would like to have a more convenient truth doesn't give him the right to make a, a speech. You still asked Several questions. We asked yet you did not give your Democratic colleague that same opportunity. He was not intending to ask her any questions. It had been determined that she would. Right, he didn't even have the chance to ask. Mr. Cum Mr. Cummings said that he had questions to ask. Instead, he began making an opening statement even after the, the committee had been adjourned. Therefore, the committee sta stood adjourned. Now, Fox News is going to enjoy this. Uh, so uh, they're, of course, going to feature ISA. And then uh, we'll see if they feature, if feature Cummings. Uh, this is going to be fun. All right, now, let's Issa. listen to Daryl Issa. Yes, sir. We had a hearing today in the committee in which we asked Ms. Lerner, who had, whose lawyer had indicated that under certain conditions she would testify. She chose not to testify. Uh, obviously, we're going to continue uh, investigating uh, others at the IRS and make a determination of how we can. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Boy, this has been pretty incredible. Uh, you saw Lois Lerner. She walked in this morning. There was hope that she would actually answer some of the questions that exist out there, like what did she know and when did she know it about uh, the um, intense questioning, today, like what do you read, what do you pray for? And as uh, Daryl Issa just said, the president initially was very, very uncomfortable with what he learned had happened at the IRS and said he wanted very much to get to the bottom of this. Uh, Elijah Cummings is now speaking. and. Boy, were there fireworks between uh, Elijah Cummings and Daryl Issa moments ago. Let, let, let's just listen to a little bit of this. And I know we're, we're up against a break here, but let's listen to some of it. We have now uh, interviewed 38 IRS that there was political motivation in regard to this targeting and in regard to these efforts. All right, we're trying to give uh, equal time to both of these gentlemen here. We're going to take a quick break. Uh, this is all breaking news. We will be back with more on the IRS scandal. Stand by. More America's Newsroom after this. was doing in this case. Um, now, if there's one thing I know about Fox News, it's that they're fair and balanced. So if they gave seven minutes to ISO and only 40 seconds to Cummings, they're, they're going to come back after the break and obviously give equal time to Cummings, right? So let's, let's listen. Boy, we have been witnessing fireworks on Capitol Hill this morning after a top former IRS official, you know her well, Lois Lerner, once again has refused to testify, pleading the fifth yet again during a hearing into the IRS targeting scandal. Morning once again, everybody. I'm Martha McCallum and a brand new hour now of America's Newsroom. And I'm Greg Jordan for Bill Hemmer. During the House hearing, Lois Lerner pleading the fifth over and over and over again. Here's a look at some of those moments. On the advice of my counsel, I respectfully exercise my Fifth Amendment right and decline to answer that question. Wow. Steve Hayes joins us now, and Chris Starwalt joins us as well, Fox News digital politics editor and host of Power Play. Gentlemen. Wait a minute. I don't think I saw Cummings there. <laughs> they came back from the break, and we're going to give them equal time. Except we're not. We're never going to mention Cummings again. <laughs> Gone. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't go back to the Cummings press conference. They didn't go back to Cummings points. They just brought in some new guests to talk about uh, how right ISA was. Fox News, fair and balanced. 